Hey, take a closer look at this street sign here. Notice something wrong there, St. Petersburg? Yeah, it's misspelled. And this mistake is actually one of two signs at Curlew Road and US 19 in Dunedin. FDOT had no idea until we showed them this and we called them, ABC Action News reporter JJ Burton tonight, with the fix on the way and who is paying for this mistake. Watch. Thanks to a repaving project, the potholes on Curlew Road are gone. But the construction crew left two pesky little eyesores. That's a bit ridiculous. It was shocking. How could somebody misspell that? St. Petersburg spelled with an E, not a U. The same mistake is on another sign on the other side of Curlew in front of the Publix. Uh, some locals say it's unacceptable. Nobody proofs it to make sure it's correct. You would think that they would check it first before they even put it out. After I didn't know about it until I called them asking questions. Officials immediately sent a crew out Tuesday morning. They're going to put a bag over the signs until the new ones come in. So how much is this going to cost us if, or is somebody else going to pay for it? FDOT wasn't able to tell me exactly how much this will cost, but the good news, taxpayers won't have to pay. A spokesperson says the contractor made the mistake and will fix it at no cost to the state. The new signs should be up in about a week. In Dunedin, J.J. Burton, ABC Action News. Well, you know, for major road concerns to even those misspelled signs, we want to hear it all, and we do, and we're listening. It's part of our mission to drive Tampa Bay forward, so if you spot an issue on your drive, call us the number right there on your screen, 866-428-6397, or you can email us, driving at WFTS.com.